Hi, students and parents. We wanted to go over a couple of new features and some changes that we've made to Microsoft Teams, hopefully to make things a little more organized and easier for you to navigate. Now, all week you have been mostly working over here under what is called this general channel. These items on the left are channels, and you've been posting messages to your teacher. Your teacher has been replying back and also using this to make announcements. The issue we've run into is that with 18 students and a teacher working all on this one general tab, it's gotten to be very messy and it's hard for teachers to find messages in a timely manner. So we have decided to mute this channel, which means you will not be able to write messages to one another on this general channel. Instead, it is reserved for your teacher to create announcements for you and your assignments will also come up here. Now. Um, in place of that, we have created your own private channel. So in this case, we see Livy's channel. Thank you, Livy, for letting me use your login. And when I click over here on my channel, you see that there is a little lock icon here. And what that means is that on this channel, there are only two people who can see and post messages here, you and your teacher. It is a private channel for you and your teacher. So if you want to um, check in in the morning and say hello, if you have a problem that you want to report, this is the channel that you go to do that. Down at the bottom, you can click, start a new conversation, and enter your message just like you were back on the general channel. Now, um, your assignments will still come up on this general channel, and they'll also be here under assignments. And I want to just... Um, call attention to a couple of things here. One is sometimes you find assignments like this. It says complete your April ICIP. So sometimes people will, um, students will come here, they'll see, okay, I need to go to iStation and complete my ICIP. And they come up here and they see turn in and they automatically click on that button and turn in this assignment as completed. However, then they go to iStation and iStation isn't working and they really haven't completed the assignment. So what we would like for you to do is make sure that you first complete your assignment and then come back and turn it in. So in this case, I know that I need to go to iStation. So I can come up here and switch from Microsoft Teams to my Clever. And I can scroll up and find my iStation icon, log in just as if I were at school, and do my iSIP. And then when I'm done, I exit out of iStation, come back to Teams, and then it's time to turn it in because I know I've actually completed that task. We're getting a lot of messages saying students have completed work, but then there's no evidence that they actually did the work. And it's not because you're trying to pull a fast one. It's simply because you thought something was going to work and it hasn't. It's been a tough week for things not working. Now you also might see a couple of other kind of assignments in the next week. One is an example here on this writing um, assignment. And you see that I didn't put any instructions here, but clearly there is a, a link here to a writing prompt. So if I click on this writing prompt, I'm going to choose from these three dots, they call them breadcrumbs, to open this in Word online. So you click on the breadcrumbs, open it in Word online. That's going to open up a Word document that will give you instructions and you can click, begin typing, and if you notice as I'm typing you see up here it says saving. It automatically saves in this mode. You know it's saved because it says saved when, when it's done saving. So as you're working, it's constantly saving so that you um, don't ever have to worry about saving your work. Just make sure that before you close this window or exit out that you do make sure it says saved. Okay. Now that it is saved and in there, I can again exit out of this tab. I can close it out, go back to my assignments, and I can turn it in if I am complete on that. 
and then I'll go back and look at my next assignments. Another thing you might see are PowerPoints. So I'm going to click here. It's going to have a link for this PowerPoint. Again, I'm going to click on the, on the breadcrumbs and I would choose again to open the um, item online. And now I can watch the PowerPoint video here and do the work that it instructs me to do. In PowerPoint, if I go to slideshow, I can view the slideshow from the beginning. And it's kind of like if you were in class and your teacher was showing a slideshow. This one might have volume. Nope. And it goes through and I can click to go through each of the different slides. Okay. If I press escape, it escapes me out of there. And then again, when I'm done, I can X out. And now I can turn in that, in fact, I did complete this assignment. Okay, so when you're in PowerPoint, just to reiterate, to watch the PowerPoint, you go to Slideshow and view the Slideshow, and then Escape will, will exit you out of the Slideshow. slideshow. You see you're not the only one that it's slow for. From the beginning and it says press escape to exit full screen. So I press escape to get out. Okay. So I hope that that helps a little bit with your assignments and with navigating the system a little bit. Um, next week you will start to see some additional assignments in writing. Um, and perhaps some more reading assignments as well, just as if we were in class. Now that you are getting more accustomed to this work, it should be getting easier to navigate around. As always, let your teachers know if you have any questions. Have a great night.